the vast plains of the Chernihiv region of Ukraine, on the banks of the river Oster, there is a small town of urban type, the town of Kozlitz. Today, the city of Kozlitz is a quiet district center of Chernihiv region, which is home to almost 8,000 people. The rhythm of the town's life is calm, quiet, and even. Let's take a walk together along the central streets of the city and see the sights and architecture of Kozlitz. The modern architectural look of the city seems to have frozen in the early 70s, resisting modernization and rapid development. There are many buildings from the Soviet period, the widescreen cinema, Yubilini, the Palace of Culture, and many other city buildings. The town of Kozlitz is over 900 years old. It was founded in 1098, but became famous at the beginning of the 17th century. At that time it was part of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. In the times of Bogdan Khmelnytsky, since 1649, the Cossack Centurion of Kiev Regiment was situated here. The town received Magdeburg Law in 1656. The Magdeburg Law was a special privilege, and a right for the town to be independent from feudal lords. All cities of Europe, which received the Magdeburg Law, received their legal, economic, and property independence. On the left bank Ukraine, where the town of Kozlitz is located, at the end of the 17th century, there were about 2,000 settlements, in which almost a million and a half people lived. Kozlitz has had a long and complicated history. In 1679 the town was ravaged by Crimean Tatars, and in 1771 all the inhabitants died of the plague, having been infected by a kaftan bought in Chernihiv, which belonged to the deceased. This town is famous for its historical monuments, ancient churches, and museums. The main attraction of Kozlitz is the ancient cathedral of the Nativity of the Virgin Mary. Every year, it attracts crowds of tourists from all over the world. The five-domed nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary Cathedral is located in the center of the city and is a unique monument of Ukrainian Baroque architecture. Right next to the cathedral is the four-tiered bell tower. The Cathedral of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary looms majestically over the city. Its dome and bell tower can be seen from every part of the city.
The cathedral is made of stone. It took 11 years to build this temple. The cathedral consists of two tiers. On the lower tier is the warm church of Adrian and Natalia. They're used to be the family burial vault of the Razumovskis. On the second tier there is a cathedral. The jewel of the cathedral is a carved wooden iconostasis made of linden. Construction of the cathedral started in 1752 on the order of Countess Natalia Razumovsky. Her son, Alexei Razumovsky, was the secret husband of the Russian Empress Elizabeth. Elizabeth was the youngest daughter of Peter the Great, the first emperor of all Russia, and Catherine, born two years before their marriage. Legend has it that Empress Elizabeth married Alexei Razumovsky in secret at Kozlitz. The Cathedral of the Nativity of the Virgin Mary is a jewel of Kozlitz and a landmark of national significance. This cathedral is one of the best examples of architecture in Ukraine. It is striking in its beauty and many details. Another landmark in the city center is the Church of the Ascension. The church was built in 1874. The architectural appearance of the church is understated and resembles defensive towers. The windows of Ascension Church have an elongated shape and resemble loopholes. After the restoration works, there is a museum of weaving history of Chernihiv region in the premises of the church. In front of the entrance to the central city park, there is one of the city's symbols, a sculpture of an animal. It is a silver goat with gold horns, a ball, and a cross on its back. According to one legend, the name Kozlitz comes from the wildflowers, the favorite food of domestic goats. According to another legend, the name comes from the goat forest, which was home to many wild goats. There is a bust of the famous Ukrainian poet Taras Shevchenko in the city park. The bust was erected in 1961. At the back of the park, is a beautiful ancient two-story brick building. This building was built in 1765 and is an architectural monument. It used to be the seat of the Kozlitz magistrate. The walls of this building remember that the general clerk used to write letters, draw up contracts, and prepare the Hetman's universals. Only educated Cossacks, who graduated from the highest levels of Kiev Mohyla Academy, were accepted for the position of clerks. In the 30s of the 20th century, this building was home to the repressive bodies of the NKVD, the People's Commissariat for Internal Affairs, which later became known as the KGB. The damp basement was used as a prison. During World War II, when the city was occupied by German fascists, there was the Gestapo in this building. Nowadays, the building houses the Central District Children's Library.
A memorial service was held over the ashes of Taras Shevchenko in an old wooden church at the entrance to the town of Kozlitz. The Ukrainian poet's coffin was being taken from St. Petersburg to the town of Konev, for reburial. The funeral procession stopped at this church. On May 5, 1861 the bells tolled in the church. A sad chariot appeared in the distance. People stood up and took off their hats. The poet's coffin was covered with a red veil and wreaths were pinned on top of the coffin. Relatives, peasants, and all admirers of the poet said goodbye to Tara Shevchenko. Before his death, on February 26, 1861, Shevchenko sat in bed almost all night. Severe chest pains prevented him from lying down and relaxing. He would light and then extinguish a candle. At five o'clock in the morning, he decided to go down to the workshop to finish the engraving of the portrait. As he began to descend the wooden stairs, the poet suddenly groaned and fell down. Tara Shevchenko's heart stopped beating. There is a soldier's glory memorial near the church. A monument to all those who died in the Second World War. Every traveler dreams of seeing the most amazing places on our planet. Ukraine is diverse, and every corner is unique in its own way. The beauty of each country is evident in its beautiful landscapes, diverse landscapes, vibrant villages, and towns, and rich cultural heritage. Join our virtual tours around Ukraine and explore the fascinating past and vibrant present of this large and beautiful country in Europe. If you like the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. We have many more interesting stories about Ukraine cities and towns.